Okay, this video is going to be used to demonstrate the XIC instruction, examine if closed. I'm using a magnifier lens to zoom in on a certain area, and I'm making it bigger here to allow you to see more clearly what I'm trying to point out in the, in the rung. So we have switch zero in series or in line with an output, which is a yellow light, output two zero. See the address here is telling you that it's an input, I for input, colon means we are dealing with a word which is made up of 16 bits, so word 1 and bit 0. When this bit goes true or turns on or closes, any way you want to look at it, it will activate output 0 or turn on output 0. Its job, an XIC, is to see, examine if closed. Examine if your output is closed or are you sending me a 1? So it goes, scans over and over again. It goes to this address and says, hey, are you a 1? Well, you could see the switch is open. There is no input here at this point. So are you a 1? No. That's why this is false. And false means no continuity or no programmed output instruction. Now let's close the switch and stay zoomed in. Are you a 1? Yes, I am. You can see here it's closed now, sending an input signal. Are you a 1? Yes, I am. Then go true. You can see that this input is now true, allowing output 0 to be activated. Let's look at that address for the output. Output, O for output, colon, 2, word 2, bit 0. Now let's look at the data table for this. Let's move our magnifier out of the way. And now we're looking at the entire word for this output. So output 2 slash 0. Output 2 slash 0. And here are all 16 bits associated with that word, word 2. And you can see that that output is now a 1. It went from a 0 to a 1. It went true. If I open a switch, now it went false. It is now 0 for false. We can look at the input the same way. We go to our input table. Here's input 1. And that's the same input address for this XIC. Make it go closed. Now that input 1, 0 went true. Change from a 0 to a 1. And now it is false, or 0.